Hey, it's Jason from Pro Guitar Studio. Welcome back. Today we're going to focus on a reggae guitar rhythm as well as a reggae guitar riff that I'm putting together for you. And we'll dive right in here and we'll talk about the chords that I use. Okay, so the first chord I used in this piece was an E minor. So 7th fret, string number 5 down to string 1 as a bar. Ring and pinky on fret number 9 of the middle two strings, so strings 3 and 4 are the D and G strings. And then the middle finger on the 8th fret of string number 2. So that's my first chord shape, although you can play an E minor any way you want. If you want to do just, for example, three strings, that's fine, so just strings 1, 2, and 3. A different shape that you might know. That's all cool. Uh, and then the next shape I'm going to do is a D. So I'm using my first finger on fret number 5 on the D, sorry, on the A string, which is a D note. So for string number five, and then my ring finger is going to be the bar here on the second, third, and fourth strings. So I don't play the first string on this shape. Some people do. Um, I don't. I don't do it. And when I play it, often I'm grabbing on to the first string, which may seem a little weird uh, as I'm strumming, just to make sure I block it out. You can also just block it by touching very lightly with your first finger there without pushing down. All right. So E minor to a D. So for this here, we're going to do a variation on the reggae rhythm. So we'll say on the basic level, the reggae rhythm would be a rest on the first beat, rest, and then a strum on the off beat on the end. So one and two and three and four and. And as if you can work on it, you want to make sure you block out the sound pretty good. So usually when people start with this, they go like rest and one, so one and two and three, and they hold that chord for quite long. But as you get more comfortable, you want to shorten how long that chord gets held for by really just pushing down really briefly with your fingers. So like one and two and three and four and. See, I'm, I'm barely making it make a sound. So we'll say on the first level, you might want to go. But that won't sound like the reggae that you know. So you want to do one and two and three and four and. So very staccato, okay? So the basic level of this is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And if you hold that out for longer, for now, that's okay. Just trying to get used to the rhythm. And it can be awkward. So the, the muting that's done is all done by the fretting hands. It's like one and, and then I relax these fingers without pushing down. So one and two and. and you can see my finger pulsing there, right? You don't want to hold down like. You need to have that break. So left hand is definitely the best choice there. You can incorporate the right hand. One, and two, and three. So this right hand can help out. And I'm going to do that when I get to the next level here. All right, so that's the first step. Getting comfortable with that. Really basic sort of strum. Now what I'm doing next, I'm going to do rest. And I'm going to do a down up strum. Basically two, we'll call it a chukka. But we're going to go rest. So we're going to go rest, down, up, and we're going to mute in between. So we're going to do a really fast staccato on the down and then the up. Rest. Okay? And then we're going to do a rest on the D as well. So the same thing, you want to get the down, up strum with the chakas in between. At first, usually it sounds like this. And that's okay to start, but then you want to really mute in between, just really fast, uh, brief pulses, I guess, with your fingers. Okay, now the next point that I'm doing, so I'm gonna go rest, and then I'm gonna do two chakas on dead strings, and then one strum. So it's like, we'll say dead strings, down, up, so chukka, and then down, up with dead strings, and then one strum. So rest, chukka, and then strum. And same thing on the D. And I'm using my, left, my right hand also for those dead strums. This will really help mute things out. You could do without it. But 
but I'm trying to get it so it's not so abrasive. All right, so that's the next level. Next stage, let's do the same kind of idea. And I'm gonna grab the pinky finger on string number one at the very end and do up, down, up. So rest, chaka, strum, chaka, then up, down at the very end with the pinky finger on fret number 10 of the first string. And then I go down to the D chord, rest, chaka, strum. Pinky finger on fret number eight of string one. Okay, so this one when I go here, this turns it in from an E minor to an E minor seven. This one here, from a D to a D seven. I guess on the D seven, I'm only doing down up at the end, not up down up. So. So some variation there. So that's how we get the strumming going. You know, a lot to, to sort of unpack there if you haven't done any of these reggae strums before. Uh, so that's the first part. Now the next part, if you prefer to play single notes, the riff that I'm doing here is going to be pretty straightforward. It's just the root and third of each chord. So for the E minor, we have the seventh fret string number five. And I'm going to go down, up, down, up on string number five, seventh fret. And I'm going to the seventh fret string number four. Back to, sorry, fifth fret string number four, seventh fret string five again. All right. Then I go down to the fifth fret, string number five. So I'm going down, up, down, up on that note. Then the fourth fret, string four, back to the fifth fret, string five. So you combine that all together and it sounds really cool, right? So you go like, I'll do a little, uh, a little loop here. Try to get the loop in here, hopefully it sounds okay. Alright, stop it there. So a lot of fun you can have here, and for soloing, I was just going through the key of E minor. So the E minor, E natural minor or E minor pentatonic, they all work. Uh, both of those work really well. E minor blue scale would work good too. Um, but that's just a little bit of fun to have on top of that. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this. If you like this reggae kind of stuff, I'd love to know. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments below or any comments too. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, so have fun with this one and I'll see you soon.